Hello. I look a little crazy right now because I have this eye semi done and this eyebrow done. And I'm just like a mess right now. I feel really, really tired. My hair is so crazy. Like, this is actually my hair with no product in it. But I really wanted to film this video so I didn't have time to do my hair. And I just threw a braid on because my bangs were like out of control. And I haven't even brushed my hair. And I'm pretty sure that's a dreadlock. So today I think I'm going to do a talk through tutorial because I haven't done one of these in a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I don't want to do such a crazy bold eyebrow like I usually do. This might even be too bold for some people but usually I fill them in a little bit more bold, you know? I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit for this. It's really cheap, it's $3 and it's perfect because you get a wax and a powder. Perfect because the wax keeps your hair in place for a really long time and usually people go to school for like eight hours a day so that's always great. I'm just gonna take the wax part first and just run it through my brows. I'm using a little brush I got at Michaels and it cost me like two dollars. After that, I'm just going to dip it into the powder and go over it to set the wax. Brows are completely optional. I just feel like it's a little bit necessary for me, even though in high school I never filled in my brows. Never. But now I feel like, oh, I need to fill in my brows. This video is probably going to turn into like a chit chat video, which I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna zoom you in really quick. To prime my eyelids, I'm gonna be using this Milani Shadow Eyes in the shade Almond Cream. This is a great um, pencil because it lasts all day and it does not crease. And it's great because it covers up all those veins on my eyelids. I have crazy veins there. So I'm gonna take it pretty far up and then just blend it out. And usually in the morning, if you wake up to go to school really, really early, your eyes can be a little bit red and tired, and this just kind of masks that. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. I got this off morphebrushes.com. It was under $6. And then I'm going to take this single eyeshadow from Milani, and this is called Bella Cappuccino. It's just a nice matte brown. And I'm going to take this and just dust it in the crease of my eye. So right here, right where your eye folds, I'm just gonna dust that right here. This is just gonna give some depth to the eye. Give it a little bit more color. Now, you don't have to go this far and actually do your eye makeup in high school. The only thing I wore on my eyes was mascara, like all through high school. I didn't start wearing makeup till after, so this really is optional, but I did want to do a tutorial with just mascara. Next, I'm going to take another Milani eyeshadow. Um, this one is called Bella Champagne. It's a really pretty champagne color. <laughs> Bella Champagne. And I'm going to take this brush from Eco Tools. It's just a dual-ended brush. I'm taking the shading part, and I'm going to dip it right in and apply this to the lid. This is just going to add some light to your eyelids so it's not all flat looking. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad. I'm not sure if this was limited edition. I hope not. I got it pretty recently at my CVS. And this is in taupe tees. I don't think it's limited edition, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> and I'm just going to take this light color right here and I'm just going to dust this right in the inner corners. And this is going to make your eyes look more awake. It's going to bring light to the center. Now I'm going to take this darker taupey shade right here. And I'm going to dip my brush in. This is a little blending brush from Eco Tools. And I'm just going to dust this right on the outer corners. Just a little bit. Just to give a little bit more depth. But you really don't have to do this part. Especially if you're in a hurry in the morning. Then I'm just going to add this light shade again right here underneath my brow bone. 
just to make my eyebrow look a little bit lifted. I'm gonna quickly move on to the rest of my face um, before I finish up my eyes. And honestly, this part is completely up to you. It depends on your skin type and all that stuff. If you wanna go ahead and put on foundation because that's what you feel comfortable with, then go ahead and put on foundation. You could also use a BB cream. It's a little bit less coverage and a little bit more natural. A BB cream is perfect for you guys in high school or anything like that. I just like to go ahead and take some concealer and dab it over the places where I think I need concealing instead of just diving in with a full face of foundation. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. This is my Holy Grail Concealer. It's from the drugstore and it is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and dab it in between my eyebrows because I have a birthmark there around my nose. I know I've said it a bunch of times but I have this crazy weird vein. Can you see it? It drives me nuts. Kind of makes me look like I have a mustache. And then a little bit on my cheeks because I get some redness on my cheeks. And then I'm just going to blend this in with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. I do have some self tanner on so the rest of my body is darker than my face but I will fix that up with some bronzer okay so once I've done that I'm gonna go ahead and try to hide my dark circles as best as I can especially when going to school I know you guys wake up really really early in the morning and I remember when I was in high school my dark circles were on another level so I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is probably one of my favorite products from the drugstore to put underneath the eyes. It's just really easy. It's an easy application and it covers pretty well. So I'm just going to dab that underneath my eyes. I don't know if I said it, but it's in the shade. I have it in the shade Fair. And then I'm blending that in with my Real Techniques contour brush. Now I have really, really dry skin, so I usually do not set um, the foundation or concealer on my face unless it's like a really dewy foundation. But this concealer, I don't find that I need to set it on my face. So I'm only going to set my under eye concealer because if I don't set that, it will crease like crazy. But if you have oily skin, I definitely suggest setting your face with a powder because you're going to be in school for a long period of time. So you want to make sure that nothing slips off or you don't get oily or greasy throughout the day. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer. I am using my Fit Me powder in the shade 135 Creamy Natural. And I'm just going to set that. Okay, so to finish off my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take the same Milani pencil I used to prime and I'm going to add this to my waterline. And what this is going to do is going to make my eyes appear larger and more awake. It's going to mask that redness that my waterline tends to have in the mornings. Then on my little smudgy brush, I'm going to take this color we used earlier and I'm going to run this underneath my lashes. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. I am using my Revlon Bold Lacquer Grow Luscious Mascara. But first I am going to curl my eyelashes. Now my eyelash curler is not from the drugstore, but you can go ahead and use whichever eyelash curler you own. One that I recommend from the drugstore that seemed to work pretty well for me was from Revlon. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then add a few coats of this to my top and bottom lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so after I've applied mascara, I'm pretty much done. All I'm going to do now is warm up my face a little bit just to give my face a little bit more life. And for that, I'm going to use my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to swirl my brush. This is a Real Techniques blush brush. 
and I'm just gonna warm up my face. I feel like bronzer is really important, either bronzer or blush, because it's just gonna um, make you look alive and healthy. So um, if you don't wanna use bronzer, then just add some blush to your cheeks, and if you don't wanna use blush, then go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer to your face. Um, you know, I'm the girl who prefers bronzer over blush. Personally, that's just me, but it's all about preference. And honestly, I'm just warming up my face. You don't need to do crazy contour or anything. It's just school, you know? It's not a big deal. Okay, and now for lips, it really just depends on you. I wore the exact same lipstick in high school since like my sophomore year. I wore Max Pretty Please every single day in high school. Like that was my signature lipstick. I wore it every day. I've gone through like four tubes of that lipstick because I wore it every day in high school, but it depends on you. I recommend something lightweight, like a lip gloss, or if you want to go ahead and use a lipstick because it's going to last longer throughout the day, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to apply my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. These are great because they're not sticky and you just throw it in your purse and apply between classes. Okay guys, so that is the completed makeup tutorial. I really hope you liked this video. Like I said, you don't have to do all this. Honestly, this is probably even too much for me because I was the kind of girl who woke up very, very late. I didn't have time to do all of this. I actually have a video that I will link down below on five easy steps to get a, not flawless face, but to get a well done, dressed up face. So it's perfect for those of you guys who sleep to the very last second. Hit that snooze button over and over and over again. So I will link that down below if you're more interested in a tutorial that is gonna be fast and easy. This is just if you have a little bit more time. So leave a comment down below if you want to see back to school hair tutorials or something like that. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Have you ever seen girls put on lip gloss in school like this? And then you're on the other side of the lunch table looking at them like... Then I'm going to take the darker taupey shade right here. Oh, okay. Stay in the frame, maybe. Oh. I'm going to quickly move. I can't deal with the puffiness and the frizziness that is happening here. By the way guys, chicken fries are back at BK. They're back at Burger King. I have been tweeting Burger King since they took them off to please unbreak my heart, say you love me again, and bring back chicken fries. And they have, they have brought back chicken fries. I actually had some yesterday and they are delicious and better than ever.